showing you basics of motion tracking. So let's start. This is my first motion tracking video. First of all, in a general tab, add a motion tracking tab from VFX here. Shorter cause render times and cycles is quite high. It took me almost 5 hours to render this 4 second result. I will set end frames to 115 frames. This paper has dots on it which will work as trackers. Because our video has moving camera due to which shape of the dots will change, I will select motion type to perspective and also take this normalize which will help us in reducing lost tracker problems but it will increase the tracking time. Turn on the auto render option from the option tab in compositing. Now I will add a tracking panel. You see that the zoom image of our tracker in track tab. You can move it by pressing G. Adjust it on the midpoint of the tracker, scale it by pressing S and bring whole tracker in the tracking panel. You can add a search box by pressing Alt plus S which will search the tracker in that area. Once we are done, hit Ctrl plus T to start tracking the tracker automatically till the end of the frames. If you encounter this problem, we have to relocate our tracking panel on tracker and again press Ctrl plus T from that point. have a high resolution video there will be no problem in tracking once you are happy with the tracking press ctrl plus l to lock it You can also manually track by pressing Alt plus right arrow. Similarly, add at least 8 trackers to your scene this way. Lock all the trackers by pressing Ctrl plus L. Now let's go to camera solver in solve option. First is tripod option, which means camera is fixed at place, not in our case. Next there is keyframe A and keyframe B, which means in that range we need trackers to be very accurate. Here we will take keyframes option which will automatically detect that. Now we will hit solve camera motion. We see this value of solve error is of 0.54 pixels. If we get this value closer to 0, it is more accurate. Value under 1 is good and near 0.5 is great. This error defines the error in tracking pixels of tracker. To see the value of individual error of tracking panel, tick info option. 
you can delete the pixel with higher error and track again to decrease this value. Now we will set our tracking scene. In scene setup, click on setup tracking scene which will give you a basic scene. As you can see this scene is not moving with the camera movements. Select these three trackers and set it as flow. <music> to properly see the scene, I will set distance to 2 and set scale between these two points. I will select this tracker as origin of our scene. Now you can see our scene is moving with the camera. <music> From the origin tracker, I will set left one as x axis and below that is set as y axis. If we go in our render tab, then there is no shadow because plane is present in the background collection. So I will move it into foreground collection and delete the background collection. Now you can see that the plane is not visible because it is set as a shadow catcher. I want a soft light so I will make it area light. But you can see that our video is not seen. So go to the render properties, turn on transparent option in film. Now we have our expected results. You can see in compositing that it has automatically set up nodes. In backdrop we only see the video because our scene is not rendered. Now I am going to use Susan and set render value to 100 cause it's really very slow and hit a render animation. If you like this video then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to check out my Instagram and Artstation. Thanks for watching.